Uh, here we are in Tombstone, as promised. I mean, this is uh, gonna just turning out to be a bigger deal than I thought, actually. Uh, for all of you just joining us, I'm Reed Booth, Killer Bee Guy. Hosh is behind the camera there. Yay! <laughs> anyway, carnival ride included. So uh, here we are right across from my honey store on 5th Street in Tombstone. We were here last weekend. Uh, we live streamed El Dorado Days. Yay! And, uh, and now we're here to remove bees up at the end of this. This is the Longhorn Restaurant. And uh, we miss, let's go look at the front end of this because it's so cool. We're going to walk up to Allen Street. We've got a lot of activity going on. Now, El Dorado Days, which is the biggest weekend of the year for Tombstone, was last weekend. And so I thought, well, Wednesday morning after a big weekend like that might be calm enough and quiet enough. No one around, right? So that we can get this done without any anybody getting stung. We get down here, there's people all over the damn place. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30. And so, uh, so I'll get the marshal coming down. And we're going to have a deputy up here block off this entire street because uh, we don't want anybody getting attacked. So this is the Longhorn Restaurant. Look at this right here. Yes, indeed, the historic Longhorn Restaurant. This is who we're saving today, everybody. Those of you just joining us, I'm Reed Booth, Killer Bee Guy. We're wrestling with killer bees today. That is correct. And we've, uh, we're here in Tombstone. In fact, if you look off in the distance over here, those are the beautiful Dragoon Mountains back there. That is where the Apaches used to hang. On the other side of that mountain range is the Cochise Stronghold. And uh, actually, Sunsites is right on the other side of those mountains. You guys have seen us out there a lot. So here we are in Tombstone. We're waiting for the marshal to show up to we can block this street off. It uh, might take a few minutes, but that'll give everybody time to join us. We got Hot Rod here with the bucket truck, so we can get up there. It's about 30 foot up. And uh, we got the uh, Crystal Palace over here, the old famous saloon. Uh, the uh, Big Nose Cates is right around the corner. The my old stomping grounds. Oh, I spent way too much time up here. From what I remember, I had a great time. The marshal said I had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's a little bit different from uh, El Dorado days, that's for sure. There's still just too damn many people walking around. We're, we're getting all set up. We're going to do this removal. And here comes this big truck with a bunch of concrete and shit, so they're getting unloaded. we got traffic coming and going, coming and going. It's like, what the hell? Well, it's good they're busy, but except for us with the killer bees. So we got to make it safe, and uh, we're just, yeah. we got to close off the street is all there is to it. So good morning, everyone. Here we are, Tombstone, Arizona. I'm Reed Booth, Killer Bee Guy. We're wrestling with Killer Bees this morning. So I'd like to say a shout out to everybody out there. Questions, of course, comments, be sure. And uh, Host is gonna be moderating, handling, handling the camera. And uh, when we get up there and tie into this, we're gonna be handing the camera back and forth. As usual, we have no idea what we're getting into, but we should show everybody what it looks like, huh? So yeah. let's, let's go down and take a look at that. Anybody got any thoughts for us? Thoughts and prayers? <laughs> like they're going to do a hell of yeah, a lot of good. Not yet. They're kind of coming in. We got about a thousand on TikTok and oh, right on. a few folks on YouTube. YouTube. Here. All right, right on. So the bees are in the parapet up here. Yeah, right? the bees are in the. This is a false front up here, and uh, Gloria and Steve, my good friends, own this, and uh, they can't get the Christmas decorations up for the holidays, and so the, with the bees there. So here we got Hot Rod. Where Hot Rod says where? Where the hell is Hot Rod? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> so hot rod say good morning hot rod good morning hot rod yeah he, wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute what the hell anyway so we uh, hot rod's got the bucket truck up here and got it all running good and uh yeah we're gonna wrestle with them yeah how far out will they attack but potentially well, well that is, that's why off. we're gonna block off the, the whole damn street here now we got this caution tape up and i was hoping that was gonna be enough it ain't because we got People walking all over the damn place. I mean, it's good, it's busy, but it can't have it because these bees will attack across the street. They'll attack, you know, uh, uh, well, unfortunately, they'll attack a half a mile away if we let them. Yeah. So what we're going to do, come on, let's take a look and show everybody what we're getting into. Here. Yeah, so we put up this, this danger tape here, but we don't, just don't think it's going to be enough. No, well, I know. Given the uh, amount of traffic. So if we look up... Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but right up here, 
above the sign. You see this really cool Longhorn uh, restaurant sign? Big nose case. Well, directly above that, just to the left, is that that little false thing sticking out there, and there's a hole right up in the top. And if you, you're going to see a lot of that soon enough, <laughs> everybody out there. Yeah. I'm going <coughs> to zoom in here so you can see. If it. you can zoom in, oh, yeah. they're coming and going. And I mean they're coming and going. They're active as hell this morning because it gets morning sun. Yeah. And uh, that is one hell of an active hive. Now, yeah. we know they've been there all summer, and we finally got the, the, the uh, they got the funds together and everything because we had to get the bucket truck here because it's just way too damn dangerous. So we're going to have to pull that off of there. Right. And, um, and, and expose it and get all the comb out. Now, of course, we'll be using our spray adhesive to keep it as safe as possible. I gotta keep an eye out for the marshal because they'll be down here. I told them send two units, deputies. Um, I hope Jim comes down. Jim, the, the marshal of Tombstone, is a good friend of mine. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna call Dusty the mayor. So, no, I'll, no, I'm not. Uh, let's see. Amazing. Yeah, you gotta shut it down. I mean, they, people just walking right by yeah, our cones. Yeah, people just walking by all so, over the So, you know, so, just just kind of a lesson in public etiquette if you see the red tape anywhere for any reason or the cones don't, don't cross <laughs> it and walk and cross it oh or, for christ's sake you know it happens every time you guys when it's a huge stress for for first responders oh actually. my god yeah. and you know it happens every time we'll be in b suits have the police the marshal off the sheriff and have the caution tape up and sure shit somebody will walk under it and go lift up and go what are you doing and i'm like get the fuck out of here my god so, Josh, I'm going to have the uh, marshal come out and go up this street out. There's a lot of traffic. It's too much. It's too much. I'm going to foot traffic and everything else. Uh, Josh, you run the restaurant here, right? That's my mom. Donna. Right on, right on. We're live on TikTok and YouTube. And so Josh and I have never met before, but um, we're going to take care of the bee problem. That's for damn sure. Are you going to be the one streaming the Christmas lights? No, Bobby will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Not me. Hell no. So we're just waiting on, on them. They're gonna, deputies are going to come down. We're going to close it off. Just too much. I mean, good. I really thought after Hell Dorado, this would be the best morning quiet. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, they, oh, you got it. So anyway, here we are. Yeah, do two corners alone, everybody. Welcome. It's going to take us a few minutes, of course, but we thought we'd... Uh, get started all right see we got this truck unloading across the way we can't even really do a damn thing until it's safe because they will kill people and you see of course the problem is is say we start we get up there and we start monkeying around with it and one damn stray bee flies over there and stings him well then the pheromone is released and he's marked and then that is that means that they will fly past everyone else to try to kill him well, once there's so much pheromone, attack pheromone in the air, uh, I've seen them stinging birds flying overhead, telephone poles, and tires on trucks. It just goes complete mayhem, and we'd have to shut the damn town down. Well, we ain't shutting Tombstone down All right, I'm out of here. today. All right, buddy, see you later. Thank you very much. Good decision. So we got rid of the, the noise on that one. Now, Reed, we'll, how many times have you closed the border down? Uh, I, I myself personally four times, the international border. I'm the only civilian in this country that's closed the international border four times. It's just fucking awesome. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, because we do the removal for Homeland Security and Border Patrol and all that. And so when they call from Oklahoma City and say we have a problem down on the border, you know, wherever it is, uh, you know, it, mainly here in... Uh, in Cochise County, all, well, southern Arizona, actually, the whole border of Arizona. We go all the way to Yuma. Uh, well, we run down and, and assess the situation. And uh, I remember one time down in Naco, uh, went down, and the, it was the old historical adobe building, and the damn Vegas were 35 foot up, and they were pouring out of them Vegas and just attacking everybody coming across the border. And so the boys in blue came out, you know, with the machine guns and everything, and they said, what do you need? And I said, I want you to close this border now. No foot traffic, no cars, no bicycles, no elephants. I don't give a shit. No, nothing comes across until I say so. You know what they said? Okay. And they dragged out the sawhorses, and they closed that border. I had it closed for about three or four hours that time. But, yeah, it's, um, I think I'm the only civilian in the country that can close the international border. It's awesome. But it's also, you know, people will die. And, uh, of course, these... These bees don't know borders and fences and boundaries. So keep looking for the uh, 
looking for theirs. Oh, good. Hot Rod's going to tell these guys. This this. is the problem. See, guys? Um, You know what? Damn it. You know what we should do? Get out the red tape and run it to each side and run it across the way. Yeah. Where's our red tape? Yeah. Okay, it's in the side. Here, this side? Yeah. No, other side. Other side? Yeah. Uh, Because this is just stupid. I mean, we don't want to have to tell every damn buddy to move. Yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't know what's up in that up in that uh, building right now. Hell is up there. Hell is hell is up there. Hell is up there. Yeah, hell is. We don't so, know how much we're gonna take the screen off actually. We'll let you guys get pulled out and thank you folks. Alright, so we're gonna just take this damn thing off because I already told them I'm I'm gonna. <laughs> so not only do we close the international border, we close whatever needs to be closed. These are killer bees, that's the way it is. And, uh, of course, as everybody knows, I've been doing this for 30 years down here in Cochise County. I tell you, Cochise County is the best kept secret in the damn country. It really is. We're going to go from that post, wrap around there, and go over there, just so that people know there's something going on. Oh, damn it. Let's see here. So, who's got some questions for us? I'm sure we got a bunch of people in anticipation of what the war that's about to ensue, huh? Sure, yeah. Well, why don't you, we do it at nighttime? Uh, we're too busy, primarily. But also, the main reason that we don't do it at night is because these bees attack light at night. you still got to be able to see what the hell you're doing. You can't work at night. Yeah. And so, they attack light at night. So, I'm screwed e- either way. Where it's going to be a good and I, see, and when we say they attack, they don't send out ten or twenty bees. Oh God, no, no. They'll they send, send out, out half the thousands, hive, hundreds of thousands. Of bees. You know, you, you they'll, they'll send out twenty thousand bees. Yeah. This isn't this isn't like honeybees or no. not like uh, you know European honeybees. And I'm going to go over here with this. Then we're going to go down to the other end and do that also, and that way, that way we just won't have to tell anybody else that. Uh, to not come down here, hopefully. Yeah. It's, so, it, we still will. What made you get into the removals? Pardon? What made you get into removals? It was kind of a, not a forced issue, but a natural segue, because when I was keeping bees back in the uh, late 80s and into the almost late 90s uh, here in Cochise County, the Africanized bees moved in in, um, oh, about 93, 1993. And, of course, everybody notice this huge change in behavior. I mean, just like, what the hell's going on with these bees? They're just completely nuclear. Ah, I was afraid of that shit. You know what, we gotta go over here. Oh, they're gonna pull out, good. This is awesome, is this your guys'? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. We'll give you time to get pulled out. We're, we're doing bees here, they're a pain in the ass. Doing what? Right in the end of the building down here. Yeah. I like that this time. <laughs> Been here before, haven't we? But any long-term resident of this county knows exactly what we're doing. As in more than two years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not even long-term, really, just two years. Right, right. So we will have to, um, I hope that the rest of these vehicles, I think that this one, the person works here, I don't really know, but... Uh, Is a killer bee sting worse than a honeybee sting? Uh, no, actually, the sting, it's a great, good question. The stings are the same. Uh, it's the the individual stings are the same and the honey's the same also and you can't tell by looking i mean they're they are the same they're a honeybee it's just genetically they're different they're a crossbreed between an african and a european to make african eyes and they're still about 96 to 98 percent african genes and the the experimental ones came from africa so that's why they're called african eyes bees the individual stings are the same that isn't the issue it's that when that pheromone is released, they sting in mass. I mean, like, just way too many of them. That's a really good idea, Hot Rod. We're going to move the, uh, yeah, move all the cones up there, kind of move the whole. I got a couple more for the other Okay, great. Well, if we can put them up there by, uh, so yeah, we're by, in Arizona. By the corner, we're in right? Tombstone, yeah. Arizona. Today. Because Hot Rod's going to put the cones up by the corner. Right so, yeah. I mean, we'll still have some people, of course, my God. Somebody commented that's typical American mentality. Which, which, what's that? To cross the tape. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that shit, unfortunately. But, uh, and are they in my state? Uh, I won't tell you where I live. If you're, well, if you're in a state of confusion or a state of despair. 
Or denial. Oh, oh denial. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a river somewhere, isn't it? Denial? No. Yeah, I love denial. <laughs> we have De San Pedro here, which is a river. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, they're in all the lower 48 states, unfortunately. It may not be the saturation level that um, we have, you know, every, like here in Arizona, it's 100%. Or in the southwest, actually, desert southwest. I don't see any marshals yet. Um, anyway, we're going to tape it off and we should be okay. But uh, they are in all the lower 48 states. We just had a, uh, a guy in Alberta, right? Uh, a beekeeper in Alberta the other day, Hosh? Right. That was uh, commenting on it. Yeah, yeah. Alberta, yeah. And a, a genetically Africanized hive, or swarm actually, was found in Alberta, Canada. God, go figure, huh? I mean, it's just horrible. I'm thinking that we're going to make this safe and go from there, around there, and across. Oh, you're going to block off the intersection. I am right, I am. I am, I am. Well, see, the, the Africanized bees, it's a dominant strain. They, the, the Africanized DNA always wins. And so will all bees be Africanized eventually? I mean, feral, yeah, unless you're requeening. I mean, they were bred to be tough. Yeah. They're, they're, they take Boy, over. They, they, they win. So, you know, in terms of feral hives, feral unmanaged hives, yeah. It's only a matter of time before all feral unmanaged honeybee hives are Africanized. Um, Reed's saying he thinks it's in the next 10 years. Because, you know, the, the, the occupation is going to be, um, you know, what's the word? Uh, exponential. Exponential growth. They, they, it happens quick. I think up on the sidewalk up there, Hot Rod. Yeah, I kind of put one down here. Yeah. And then I'm going to put one in front where those people are going in and out in that opening. Good there. idea. Because those are apartments back there. Well, what we'll do in terms of TikTok is we'll chop this video up and uh, into smaller pieces, you know, and they'll be our, talk, our TikTok vids. You see, on YouTube, the live stream will stay as a live stream. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, and right, definitely, but right, not right. TikTok. It, it's uh, only only available, only visible to us. Yeah. All right, this looks really good. Yeah. So Reed believes in ten within ten years, given the fact that they're already present and and in multiple places around the country, and we believe in all the forty eight lower forty eight states. Yeah. Well, they, they're already there. They, and... they, you know, it's just within ten years they're going to take over all all feral, you know, honey production. Right. All the feral hives will right. be. Right. Will be Africanized. Yeah. And a real problem for beekeepers is they're going to have Africanization also. You can requeen. Like here in Arizona, requeening is, is a temporary fix, total temporary, because it's impossible to keep your nice bees from becoming Africanized. All right, so we got to let these guys go. Uh, and no, it, it has nothing to do with DDT. DDT was DDT. outlawed before the killer Way bees hit before, the states. Yeah, yeah. Where did that come in the conversation? Don't know. Yeah. It's BDT, not DDT. Anyway. We're going to piss off a whole bunch African of bees. bees so African bees are, okay. are not hostile. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. They, they, well, be careful, of course. You know they yeah. kill people. You know that. <laughs> yeah, they're little bastards. They're not nice, are they? Yeah. Be, be careful, bud. That guy was just saying that he, uh, he probably has a ranch around here. And he said he was, he just said he was disturbs him all the time. Didn't, didn't work out real good for Ophiel, did it? No, no, our good friend Dan Ophiel got killed by him. Right. I mean, that wasn't even a hive like this. That was a ball of bees hanging in a tree. That's how damn dangerous these things are. Because he, well, you know the story, Hot Rod, he got on his backhoe. Yeah, he was going to try and take him out and bury him with the backhoe. Oh, Here's man. your sign. Here's your sign, and now you're dead. You no, know, I mean. Actually, there's a, there's a beekeeper on here. Mm -hmm. says he keeps African bees in Yuma. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Holy yeah, cow. Yeah. Bless your socks, I'll tell you. Are they mean? <laughs> that's the, that's uh, the uh, now, I know... But not Africanized. He's saying they're African. Oh, yeah, pure African? Yeah, pure African honeybees, yeah. That's what he's saying. Well, I mean, because, that's what I got from maybe... You know. Because the, the crossbreed is the Africanized, of course. You got the pure African and the European that were bred in Brazil, as you know. And welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Beekeeper from Yuma, hey buddy. Boy, last time I was out to Yuma was, uh, shit, 
I guess a, a little over a year ago, maybe it was last spring, I can't remember, had to do uh, bees out on the canal out there uh, for the Border Patrol, of course. But anyway, um, Homeland Security sends me out there. It's a long way. <laughs> 343 miles, my friend, from here. Yeah. I know that personally. Anyway, the African bee was bred with the European oh, bee. Oh, it's a different thing. So there's some confusion. So so this guy's not a beekeeper keeper. Oh, okay. He's just saying they have African bees, but what he means is Africanized, Africanized bees. Exactly, yeah, good clarification. There's a big difference between African bees and Africanized bees. Huge you know, we, difference. We've already got them sniffing around here. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, so he's asking if you'd come to Yuma and do bees. Yes, we do. He had a story for the town newspaper. He, oh, he has uh, he has done bees for um, so. for uh, we're, live, we're live right now on TikTok and YouTube yes, for border security yep. in so Yuma. Can, can we come together? Let me All right, oh, come guess... together. We're gonna <laughs> the three beesketeers. This will be the event of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're with the Epitaph? Uh, oh no no, Tombstone News. Oh Tombstone News. Oh okay, very good. Come here, Oh, What a what do we just know? I've never met you. I don't think, have I? Uh, John Donahue. John Donahue, I'm Reed. I'm Reed Booth. Uh, you're the big guy. That's exactly yes, right. T TJ works for me here, of and, course. Uh, this is Hosh, my bee I, sister. I live on something. This fella got the bees out of um, our visitor center. Yeah, that's right. And That's right. And I've been told a billion bees out of the old uh, uh, city hall. Well, that was that was a low a low estimate. A low estimate. <laughs> well, no, I, I heard they were. There you had was, to go back twice the whole. Oh, I had to go back more Atticles than that. Oh, it was unbelievable. That whole f facade on there, yes. right, was completely full. And then when they redid it, yes. right, because they remodeled that, we finally got the funding, and, or the city did. Yes. Beautiful, right? Yes. And so, but man, I tell you, I was up there. Of course, here comes somebody with a, a scooter. Come right under the tape, of course. Go on, get! There are a billion bees up there. A billion, only a billion. I'm just gonna park my thing in there and go in the bars. Oh, oh well, that's um. Well, be safe in the bar. Be yeah. safe in the bar, yeah. Yeah. I hope you're gonna spend. I hope you're gonna spend all day there because it's gonna be a little gnarly out here. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so what I what we need to. Get <laughs> you talked him into it. He said. <laughs> for, for as far as tourism goes, for the town too tough to die. Um, this is wonderful. These bees have been trained to chase tourists right down to the good enough mine down here. <laughs> they're, they're, these are wonderful bees. They're, they're, they're sensitive. And, and, and beyond, I hear, John. And, and beyond. beyond. Yes. Is, is there anybody in Tombstone that's not full of shit? <laughs> Actually, is there... Is, I'm hot, Rod. This is hot, Rod. Is there anyone, John, that has not been chased by killer bees in Tombstone? Probably or not. Cochise County, actually. Probably not. Yeah. And on the serious side, we have a couple of deaths a year yeah. in Cochise County yeah. from bees. Yeah. And they're not trivial. No. Uh, that. In the last two yeah. months, they have sent 26 people to the hospital in this county. Okay. So yeah. they're still. Yeah. They're st and they're not letting up. I mean, we had uh, had an emergency call in Hereford yesterday, bees in a water meter box. They're just horrible, as you know. Well, yes and no. But they're also smart. They're intelligent. Oh my God! They're a better bee. And how do we cohab? We can't. Yeah, cohab it's it. almost like. Gee, you know, we, it's, it's don't that, we have some old building that we could just say that's yours? Well, unfortunately, or they don't work like that. They don't work like that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. The, uh, honey, well, the honey's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Well, I didn't make it. Yeah, I just stole you it. Said you sell it. I stole it and I sell it. <laughs> Man, so we're going to have to have to take that end cap off up there at the end of the building. Okay. And they've been there all summer and this time. Oh, and, yeah. And, yeah, and so we're going to... Oh, the gold chains, he's got, the, the food at the Longhorn's so damn good. I if guess. I was a bee, that's where I would be. That's where, and they were, yeah. they're going in the back door hoping to get a discount. You know, but, they, but I know Gloria, they ain't going to... They are. They are. <laughs> no, I just saw her. Oh, I know. She was just out, all yeah. over, uh, and I heard Steve. You know, well, I wish he was. He, he could come down, but I guess he's in a lot of pain, so he, he's back. Still, yeah, yeah. So, huh. yeah, I know. So anyway, we're waiting on the marshal. I told him uh, that we needed to block up the street because, yes. well, you know, it's too damn dangerous. Yes. And, and so, but you know, but since so we, far they're happy this morning. It looks like a nice day. Oh, it's a beautiful day. And you guys got to come to Tombstone. I keep saying that. We yes. were here uh, and we live streamed El Dorado. 
oh, on Saturday. Good. Yeah, and we had about what, fifteen or twenty thousand folks come oh, with us. Good. Yeah, good. yeah. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We're, uh, yeah. This is a secret oasis. Yep. We're on a windswept mesa in the middle of nowhere. Literally, we have no fast foods, no stop signs. People here are are friendly. Now, when when are we going to get indoor plumbing though? That was. Well, that's tough. I know. I know. Dang it. Well, okay. Right yeah, up. there's a Marshall. All right, I'm going to go down and see right. a Marshall, John. Yes. It was a pleasure to meet you, sir. Yeah. See ya. So that was John from the uh, newspaper and uh, <laughs> news of the year. It's slow news here, okay, guys? Anyway, we're going to go down and say hello to our good Marshall here, and uh, oh, hopefully we won't see him jumping back into his squad car. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for coming. I don't hear that very often. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. We're live streaming. We have TikTok and YouTube. We got a bunch of people that want to meet you and say hi. Oh, well, good. And of course, I'm Reed. Anthony. Anthony, this is Host behind the camera. The, hey, hey, you know, in a bee suit, you've seen one and seen them all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming down, Anthony. Certainly. Where are we having the most traffic come through? Uh, well, gee, you know, I thought Wednesday morning after El Dorado, perfect. Mm -hmm. No one will be around. Right. Bullshit. They're everywhere. And so this street, of course, before I put up the tape, there were there's cars every. Oh, I mean, my God, what the hell? <laughs> and uh, the main thing is foot traffic now. Okay. And because you can't outrun the damn things, right? Now we've got cones up up, up there. On the other end, uh, is there do you, is another marshal coming down or Jim? This is it. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, thank you. So we'll put plenty of cones up there. Um, you know, I would think the most foot traffic is going to be from up there. Me, yeah, me too. Yeah. It would be better. Where, you where are you actually working? working okay, here. you see up in this end, right above the Longhorn rest, uh, sign, yeah, that cornice sitting out there, right at the end. Mm -hmm. They're pouring out of a little hole up there, and they've been there all summer. Okay, so that is, of course, they will come down here, you know, and attack. But I'm going to do my damnedest so they don't. Before. Sure. And so that's why we got everything blocked off. Um, we're gonna make this as uneventful as possible. We're gonna try. Mm -hmm. And it's not a long drawn out affair, of course. I'm going to get up there and try to, we got to knock that out, remove all the combs, it's going to be a pain in the ass. So I think that for now, Anthony, if we could block off the other end, that'd be the, you know, have you up there. Okay. Yeah, I just think so. Because this end, it's not as... Right, there's not a lot of foot traffic. No, here. no, not really. Not compared to everybody coming from there. Yeah. I can't believe how busy it is um, a Wednesday morning after Hell Road. Well, well the, look at the weather. <laughs> It's been no, beautiful. It's absolutely did, perfect. And now, did it freeze the night before last year? Yeah. Uh, I don't know here. I, I was. I wasn't here. They're following you already. Little bastards. They they know who they're. Well, they know got my, my name on their <laughs> stinger. Is yeah. what it is. They, <laughs> I tell you. So yeah, there was frost on the pumpkin this morning down around in uh, Naco and, and San Jose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Then I'm up by the tunnel and busy. It was cold last night. Yeah. Not last night. The night before it was real cold. Yeah. Up in my place too. I'm up. Up by Benson. Oh, yeah. Closer to Benson, and it was pretty cold up there, too. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was frost on the broken. Thank you so much, sir. Certainly. I'm going to go, I'm going to drive around. I'll set up over here, and I'll just kind of. All right, very good. Kind of push everybody off of that sidewalk. Yep, that would be the way to do it. Have them cross on the other side, and then uh, we'll go ahead and tie into it. Do you have a business card? You know what uh, What I always have people do is take your phone and take a picture of my door. Okay. And of course, I got the honey store here, too. Okay, this is you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. TJ yeah, worked for me. And Great. All that. Yeah. And uh, Jim ain't coming down, huh? No, he's not in today. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm. No. I'm actually the marshal today. Oh, marshal! Well, the <laughs> pleasure of good darn right. I'm the acting acting marshal, right? Until we get somebody here with a little bit more time on than me. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm the acting killer B guy. So we'll make him. The, we'll make him the acting marshal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be up there. All right, sir. Thank you so yep. much. I appreciate you coming down. All right. So let's get suited up. We'll get suited up and tie into this, everyone. Yeah, um, holy shit. <laughs> we're, uh, we're about ready. Okay. He's going to go up and, because that's where the main traffic is, yeah. is up yeah. there. Yeah. And of course, oh my God, so many people. Thank you for taking all them cones around, Hot Rod. Jesus. No so uh, let's go ahead. We're going to need, now it's inventory time. We're going to need the uh, spray adhesive, um, pry that's bars, hammer, yeah. sawzall. Yeah. I doubt that thing is... Uh, screwed up there, knowing the construction, probably nails, probably nails, and a a bucket to put comb in. Yeah. I'm being optimistic, of course. Do you want to take it all up at once? 
Probably not. I mean, it's not that far. It's easy to get up and down. And no Hot Rods are going to be operating the controls for us if, unless I need to get really close. But it's just less for me to think about. And we're going to get up there and we're going to spray adhesive the hole and to knock down the guard bees. It ain't going to work because we're going to have to take the damn thing out anyway. Right. You know, all the wood and all that shit. So right. we're in for a kind of a cluster. Well, hopefully, for... hopefully we can just open up the top of it. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. You know what Hot Rod's saying? If we open up the top and it's hollow, like... Right. 15 feet down. Well, it's, 12 foot. it's block walls. It's probably capped. The block walls are probably capped. I hope so, because they will live in yeah, the hole well, in the I'm block. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And, of course, there's no removing that yeah, shit. That's no, a new conceal. No, it's just to seal yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah that sealed it up. And this that top cornice rests on top of that block wall. And I've been walking I've been walking around looking at what you should tell the owners. They got the wrong Fill up all the holes, yeah, because they're there, going to be... There's holes all up there, big openings and everything on the face of it down there. So you really should... I have literally removed somebody. bees, all aspects of this building, about a dozen times in the last... Well, this would probably be a lot cheaper for them to fix the holes. Right, so so what is it I shouldn't tell them again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, job security, come on. <laughs> Reed's <Yeah>. not nervous. <laughs> 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 we never have any fun, damn it. Alright, so the marshal's gonna be up there. So really the only question is how mean are these bees gonna be? That's it. That's it. That's gonna be a big determining factor on a lot of shit. On a lot of shit, yeah. Alright, well let's go ahead and get our uh, get our shit on, huh? I need, I need a hoodie. Oh you ain't got even got a hoodie. Oh, yes, do. Is, do I? Oh okay. There we go, head back. And now we go. There I we didn't go. didn't even know with that. Now, do you want you got your, your readers there? Do you need I them? Do, I, well, I, probably not. But all right, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, Mister Philosophical. <laughs> 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 Ooh, broad general sweeping statements. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Go, oh, technical now on top oh, of yeah, that. But you gotta let it be. Oh my yeah. God, you guys beehive yourself. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers. I, See what I, I gotta put up with you? you still got people walking through here. It's amazing. Oh, I wish amazing. Marshall would get up this. there. Look at this. Oh. It just never seems Comes with the blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, need to make up, we need to make up a sign and put up down the beach end. If you come in here, here's your sign. You're going to die. <laughs> here's your sign. Yeah. Oh, God, have a stack oh, of tomb, tombstones okay. at the front. Okay, we got the marshal up there now. Mm -hmm. We got Anthony up there. Right. Acting marshal for the day. Oh, on the other side, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, just, we'll just have the marshal running don't back Don't say we forth. didn't warn you. There's all that we'll have the marshal running back and forth, yeah. back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you put up so much tape and you try to mitigate... Yeah, exactly. How many people will get lit up this morning? <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep score. You guys... Because, <laughs> cause, I mean... You guys are going to... I'll be too it's busy. It's not like we didn't put up the tape and get the police out, you know? <laughs> God damn. Totally ridiculous. Can we just raise it up so we can get out? Yes, thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> and a cowboy costume doesn't make you any tougher. <laughs> we hear that a lot. No, Hot Rod Reed's friend. We're, so, all, uh, we're, all, we're all friends and financially, you know, taking care of each other. Oh, Hot Rod's going to help him lift the... Uh, we got someone else leaving here now. Yeah. What the hell's going on around here? Yeah. We're almost there. Okay, tools. Let's get a five-gallon bucket. I got one ready right there with some spray adhesive. Oh, look, ain't he something? Something. Something. We ain't sure what, but he's something. <laughs> yeah, right. I know you need the pry bar and the hammer and yeah, all that. Yeah, grab the pry bar and the hammer. All right, so bear with us. We're just going to get the rest of our tools here. There you go. Thank you. I'm gonna get a, uh... Okay, well, killer bee nation, here we go. So for those of you who are just new to the channel, we're killer bee exterminators, and killer bees, it's an invasive uh, honeybee subspecies that are called killer bees because they kill people, they kill animals. 
and uh, what other way? And they compete with our native pollinators. So no, we're not relocating these bees. We're in Tombstone, Arizona, and we are taking care of a of a hive that's been up there for a while, right, Reed? Uh, all summer. Yeah, all summer. This at least. Who knows when they moved in there? So, but anyway. Reed's done a lot of jobs on this particular building in Tombstone. Yeah, honeybees are trash in North America. That's right, and South America too. Yep, that's. Uh, the, I think we should have tubs right and everything readily available. Yeah. All right. They don't belong here, and they they're bad for the environment. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we got tubs here readily available. We got the nice ones back there, actually. Ooh. And there's the, there's the shop vac that never gets used. <laughs> <laughs> you, so many people ask us, why don't you use a vacuum? And it's like, you know, they avoid the suction for one thing. They actually avoid it. I had a really powerful shop vac one time, a pretty industrial one, had a wide mouth on it, and, you know, a lot of suction. I mean, you can suck flies up and everything else. After just a few minutes, these guys were avoiding it completely. It was just ridiculous. It's like playing playing chess with bugs and losing a few rounds. Uh, so let's get a couple of. Them. Yeah, you want the new ones? Look at those I like fancy. The, I fancy like fancy. Ones. I want the new yeah. ones. All right, you want me to grab them? Yeah. Here, can I give you that? All right. Yeah. There you go. All right. So we're gonna get the new ones. Oh, look at we. It's our first view today of Hosha's patch. Did you see Hosha's patch, Hot Rod? I did, yeah. Yeah, pretty fancy, huh? You got one or a couple of them? That'll be fine. Hey, we had rain, uh, rained hard at the ranch uh, two nights ago, so that's why everything's kind of wet. I, th right. I think that's it. I'll, uh, I'm going to grab a putty knife. Yeah. And then, and then I think we're ready to, to get into it here, guys. On this job. Huh? We're not using bait on this job. Not using what? Bait. No, oh, bait. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not getting out the stuffed animals on this one, guys. We could put a cowboy hat on that. Bear. On the bear, yeah. No, we're not using. We're not. <laughs> forget it. We ain't using bait on this one. We whatever. Those guys, you guys that are new, um, for educational purposes only, we use stuffed animals to show how they attack. Um, pets and stuff it's a lot entertaining actually and we never harm any stuffed animals they're stuffed animals for everybody for god's sake anyway all right so i think we're um eh. uh oh he's got a he's got a you gotta kill a bee on your kill a bee on your <laughs> well that don't clear him off nothing well. All right, well, let's go ahead and <coughs> get a bunch of goofballs, my God. Oh, i got to get my big blues on, too. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get up in the truck and... Here you go, Hot Rod. Here you go, Hosh. Have you... Are you going to need your big blues at yeah, some point? I am. Then we should throw them mm -hmm. on the truck. We got out. a couple here. We got a couple here, too. Uh, these are yours, or...? Uh, whatever. Whatever fits. I mean, I think we got one, one, size, one for each of us. One size fits all. Mm -hmm. Here we yeah, go. He's starting it up. All right. Well, that's not a good idea. What we don't want you to go in there. Apparently not. We'll we'll let you get in first. Where the hell did he come from? Where the hell did he come from? He's a mirage. <laughs> You're gonna be a ghost in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Almighty. Here we come to save the day. Alright. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Got them all locked up. Oh shit, well I'm going through the front door, I guess. There's paper on front anyway. We're gonna get rid of the feet. Okay. We will kind of wait until you're gone. Are you leaving? Take off. Oh. You probably want to stay back inside. Oh, that's TJ. That, like that's, that, that's TJ. That's TJ. That's oh, TJ. Okay. Hey, yeah, TJ. Yeah. <laughs> Can you open the door? Okay, great. Thank you. So he keeps the store over there. That's Reed's so that's store. A, that's TJ. Across the way. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, here we go. La, 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 la. Here we go. 
Okay, here we go. All right, guys, here's Tombstone. So here's, and that's actually our honey store right across the street. Right below the Russ House sign there, it says Raw Honey. Yeah, that's our honey store. We want this in here, right? Uh, yeah, that in here. Uh, here, there you go. The bins in here, too? Uh, we may as well bring a bin right. in case we can start cutting and make quick work of it. Yeah. Uh, here, let me uh, throw here. And grab the bin. Yeah. All right. So right up there is where we're going, everybody. And uh, too far from a ladder and way too weird of construction and everything on this shit. So, oh, God, here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, we can throw the ladder out once we... There we go. Thank you. All right, Rod, take us up. Here we go, everyone. We got the... Uh... You got it, Scotty. Whee! Beam me up. Beam me up, Scotty. I'm going to get a spray adhesive right now. Are oh, they coming out already? Well, I'm in anticipation. Yeah. Yeah, we can't, we can't take our time with this job. No, no, we gotta Give make the... work, work of it. Thank you for sticking around with us. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Reed Booth, Killer Bee Guy. We're in Tombstone, beautiful. You're gonna get a view nobody ever gets of Tombstone. And we're doing Killer Bee Removal here. Hot Rod's been out with us on many jobs, and he's uh, he's down there. Hot Rod's down there. And uh, we're going to, uh, he knows exactly where we gotta be. He's done this a bunch of times with us. So, Hot Rod, yes, sir. if you hear what sounds like a little girl screaming, it's Hosh. Okay. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> All right, so far we're sneaking up on him. Okay, straight up. Look at that nice little hole. Uh, okay, closer to the building. You gotta come down a little bit and I'll bring you in. All right, thank you. And this is... All right. Yeah, looking good. All right, no, good. Uh, so this looks like just plywood. So this is obviously where a woodpecker poked a hole in here, guys. Yeah. And you can see, look at this, see how active it is? Oh, those guards are all right there. See, those are all guard bees, everybody. And you know what, this box, here, I wanna show everybody this. I'm gonna set this down and... Uh, so this will be telltale. Here, I'm gonna show everybody this. Yeah. All right, they're starting to light up a little bit, so I'm gonna take one minute, guys. This is all deep. This is all full in here. See that? Full it's it's a basically a big beehive is what yeah. it is. Yeah. So here we go. To disturb a whole bunch of killer bees. You folks might not want to be over there. God damn idiots. Oh my god, people are so stupid. Okay, here we go. And so what I'm doing here, guys, I am uh, knocking down this is spray adhesive non-toxic that we're using. And basically I just want to knock down since we're in such a congested, obviously area. Oh my god, I had no idea. It was going to be such a ridiculous situation. Now I got to see how deep this is. Well, that's easy enough. There we go. This is what I was hoping at first. God damn it. Getting this top up here. Oh, here, hold on, hold on. Close yep. it a little bit. Yep. I'm going to get these yep. right adhesive. Yep. Thank you. Oh, it's full. It is? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's full of comb. Okay. It we'll popped see how mean these guys are. It's full of comb. It, uh, it that, yeah, popped out pretty easy. Okay, we ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we have to make this safe. Holy shit, look Boy, at that. That's some... Holy God. So what we're doing is knocking down any of these that are coming out to attack. That's dark, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Which means they've been here before. Uh, so I always look for, are they stinging my phone? That's always an look, look at this. Look at this, how dark this is. Yeah, that's old, That right? is really old, and I was right this whole thing. It's full. Now this goes up in here too, so I'm going to try to pop that off. But hold, back that up a little bit, Hush. Yep. I don't want to get any spray adhesive on it. Now they're already down here to bed with me. God yeah, they're pretty it. mean. Do you want to spray adhesive? Yeah, that might be good, right? I'm good. Well, I was just thinking for any of them getting out on the street. Okay. All right. Well, so much for that. <laughs> God damn it, I'm getting caught up on shit here. Yeah. Oh, hold on. There you go. There we go. All right, now we gotta, so they're already down on hot rod. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. 
All right, all right, back that up yep. a little bit. I gotta do it. Spray it. And all we're doing is lightly doing this in the air primarily to knock down the bees. I gotta take this off also. So, um, but first of all, I gotta remove this piece of shit. So this has obviously been sealed up before. Yeah, you've been here. <laughs> well, when? You've been here before. Uh, oh, I've been all over the damn <laughs> I can't remember, you know, that's the problem. Yeah. Too many years. Yeah, no, no, I know. So I'm going to see if I can... There we go. Easy enough. Woo -hoo -hoo. Here we go. A little bit more. Let's see what's in there. Okay, here we go. Look at that, oh, everybody. The there it is. Tombstone Arizona Bees. Long horn short stinger. Okay, back that up a little. <laughs> <laughs> that's... There's your video title. Yeah, there's the video. What do you what? guys think? Love they're me. all over the phone. Well, oh, yeah, good. no. No, they're mean. They're not good. They're mean. We uh, were hoping they would be chill. I don't see anybody running away down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So this is just a non-toxic spray diesel. Look at this. This is where a comb fell, where it got too hot or something. Right, right. And they still take care of it. They just don't use it. So we're going to see if we get any honey out of this. I can see brood comb already right here. Sure. Look at this. Same old shit. Yeah. All brood comb. All brood comb. This is yeah. all, this is pollen, and that's brood. So if we can get up one of these tubs and maybe set it right here. Yep. Thank you. Um, down. They're not nice about it. We're gonna have to separate we'll a lot of this sort out. Sort it out later. Yeah, we're gonna sort it out later. Uh, we want to get this old stuff out of here. All right. So non-toxic spray adhesive, everyone. And of course. Now this is all. This is well. That's, that's some really propolis old. right there. What? We can throw that in the Viking. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's absolutely right. All right, so now I'm going to start from out here, and I'm actually going to get a putty knife so I can scrape it really clean. Wow, you guys, this is uh, more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, and they're pretty mean bees, actually. On a scale of one to five, what would you rank these bees at this point? Yeah, well, it could be a hell of a lot worse. It could be worse, it could be better. <laughs> they could have not been here. <laughs> right. That, those, that's called class zero. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a pre-bee. Yeah. I'd say these are about a three. There's some honey, guys. Yeah, beautiful. There's some honey. Uh, okay, we're going to... Now, this is brood comb. Uh -huh. European bees would never be putting up brood. It's going to be Halloween in a few days. Never, ever be doing that. That's stupid. Look at this. More babies. Brood, brood comb is where brood, they raise brood. the babies. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This time, of, this time of year, they would normally be um, working on only not laying any more eggs. Okay, they're stinging the phone, Reed. Oh, shit. So okay. the attack pheromone right, I'm working on it. The attack pheromone is, is out, mm -hmm. and we've got to keep working on this really kind of quickly. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Here wow, we go. beautiful piece. Beautiful. Thank you. What do you think about the phone? Also gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm trying to get... It's hard to see in so there. So when they start stinging the phone, that's always a telltale of an escalation. Yeah, and I'm... Look, nobody's running away around here Not yet. yet. We'll be early. sure to show you guys if they do. God damn it. Trying to. That's why we had the marshal out. Right. There's honey. Honey. Right there. Trying to make quick work of our killer bee nation because this is just too, too damn dangerous. Here we go. Yeah. We're on the. We're this on thing the, is you're uh, a full on parapet. Hybrid. Yeah, it is. We're on the parapet of the Longhorn Restaurant. Can you see in there? Can everybody see in there? Yeah. Let me get. Let me get closer here. <laughs> Trying to cut. Huh? Oh, look at look at where they need. Where are they? What do you think that red tape's for? Yeah, they can't hear you. Go! Go! Anyway, we'll let the marshal take care of that. Go! We'll let the marshal take care of that. We can't we can't do a damn thing from up here, except take care of this. It's the marshal. I hope the marshal's still down there. Unless you got called away in an emergency, then that would not she's, be any. She's yelling back. We thought we could walk here. What, what the fuck is the <laughs> tape and cone about? Jesus. Look at this. That was guy. a Karen, actually. Uh, <laughs> no, not for long. <laughs> not, not for Look long. at this. Okay, you guys, this is going to be ridiculous. Killer bee exterminator and Karen. Look Underwood. at this, guys. Oh, holy smokes. Hey, that, that is, is a gnarly. Now, is that honey? What do you got I there? don't know. It's heavy. Yeah. And it's a pain in the ass. So that gets set there, and I'm going to set this one on top of it. Right. Well, actually, we got the lid. lids. So that they, the bees that are in there can't come out. Yeah. Okay. Um, yep. Hold on. There we here, go. Here, let me get there. the other side. All right. Oh, I got to do that over here, Strap too. It. Yeah. Okay, now we're good. Lid on. Lid secured. Secured. 
Okay, good. Yep. That was a big piece of something, and it looks as though we've got a bunch of... No, go. they're always <laughs> mad. They, 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 oh, they're they'll attack, mad. they'll attack without us ripping into this. Look that's why this. people, that's why we're getting honey, rid of them. Honey and a pollen. They're not nice bees. No, they're not. They're not your, they're not your grandfather's honeybees. And we're not looking for the queen, the queen's collateral damage. We don't care about that. We're killing this hive, we're not relocating it. You know what I always tell people is I've got, you know, 50 to 100,000 of these things or more trying to kill me. I'm not looking for one. Yeah. Because the queen, they will actually sequester. That, oh shit, you know what? Goes back in there. That's right. Non, you know, European honeybees don't you know do this forgot? when you're getting into their hive. You That's know what we right. forgot? The uh, what? undercoating. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But, you guys, um, I do want to show everybody here. Hand me that. I want to show everybody. Yeah. Where it goes back in here. Look at this, guys. Is there more? Yeah, it goes back in there. It goes back in oh, there. it's in the other one, too? Yep. Ah. Yep. Look at that. Holy shit. Here you go. Oh God! Hey, can you guys make really go back? Go back! These are killer bees. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh my God! All right. Well, that's just how it works. This is really troublesome because I just pulled that out of that corner. Goes around the corner, hot rod. Look at this. Yeah. What's that? It goes around the corner. Yeah. To the front. Yeah. To the. Good. Did he say good? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys! Look at this. I'm. And this is reaching around the corner. Okay, I need to go. Uh, hot rod. I need to go up a little bit. Thank you. I can reach in there further. Oh yeah. Good. And of course, we got our remnants on the roof. All right, thank God I hit a brick wall there. So for those of you who are joining us, we're, ki we're removing killer bees from a parabit in uh, Tombstone, Tombstone Arizona. I'm answering it. From... Oh, God. Yeah, this makes me nervous as fuck with people walking off. I mean, really? Oh, uh, really drives me nuts. Look, at there's a guy in a roofway over there. Yeah. All right, so I have gotten a lot of... I think I'm at the level now because I can feel wood back there and well there's the old dead comb goes down in oh my god I'm reaching in as far as I can guys ah! look at this look at that oh for crying out loud yeah we'll right yeah we'll keep the honey we take the money and the honey everybody we'll we'll actually I just, I just keep digging yeah. out comb but way back in here you can see I'm reaching as far as I fucking can Oh my god. Yeah, we get stung all the time through our suits. Not today yet. Still early. Still early. And we have no idea. Yesterday we thought we were doing nothing except working around on the ranch. Right. Until we got that call in Hereford dead emergency call. Uh yeah, I'm gonna show everybody this. Yep. You're gonna hand me that. Yep. Thank you. Okay, everybody check this out. So it went way back in there, way back down in there. I can't even see, I can barely reach it. So now what we're gonna do is put the lid on that. We're gonna take this down and put the lid on that. And then we're gonna come back up. You know, before we go down, I'm going to put this in here. Oh, okay. that'll just fit just perfect. There we go. Okay, so hold on, let's, uh, let's get the clips here. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Yep, okay, I'm good on this okay, side. Okay, you secure? You got it on that side? Uh, Clip I down. am secure. God damn it, more people walking around like Well, you know what it is, is the sidewalks aren't taped off, it's just the road. Yeah, but jeez, on Friday. I mean, Well, wait. you know. Well, yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So there are, okay, um, so now what, I gotta, I gotta take the, um, I gotta scrape this down a little bit here, much as I can. Okay, we're at, we're really doing good. Actually, nobody's died, <laughs> which uh, I know I shouldn't be joking, guys, because people do. Right, Osh? Yeah, they do. People die. People from these. die. These are not our grandpa's mm -hmm. honeybees. They're in all the lower 48 states. Big shout out to Mojo and the little ones. Hey, bud, how you doing? I assume you're watching. Hell, I know you are. 
Um, all right, so I'm sure we got a shitload of questions, huh? Uh, yeah, but um, it's kind of hard to see the yeah, screen. Kinda, a little busy, folks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now what we got to do is go down and look at this on the boom. Look at this over here. Oh, yeah. These are all remnant bees. So, um, now it was really cold this morning. That's a good thing. That's why these guys have not gone completely nuclear. Only also, par partially nuclear. Also, we knocked down the guard bees. And so... We're going to go down now and get our pruning seal and come back up. We need to hold this while yeah, we... Yeah, I'm going to grab it, you got it while he takes us down. Okay, all right, we're ready to come down and then we'll make one more trip back up. I tell you, I'm really interested in that big chunk of dark stuff that mm. was in there. That looks what, what amazing. Big, what do you mean? What do you that, mean by that? <laughs> what, what big... There was no big chunk of honey. That, that, no. Yeah, yeah. No. That big glob of big comb glob you of honey. There, That looked amazing. My God, I couldn't believe what that turned into. That was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Well, yeah. Did we get all the comb out? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I and they're not built. They're not built. No, I actually got to get the undercoating. Yeah. They're not built down into the bricks. No. Okay. No, That's it was good. capped. They were yeah, capped. Yeah, Hot Rod was right. Yeah, yeah, it was capped. The bricks were capped, Hot Rod. What's that? The bricks were capped. Yep. Good. Yeah, it is good. 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 So yep. I'm going to hand you these, Hot Rod. Yeah. Let me get you some more. No, actually, what we need is um, automotive undercoating. I can hop out and grab it. All right, it. let me grab the camera. Yeah. You got it? Yep. Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to get the under automotive undercoating. Um, wherever they have been, uh, wherever they've been attached, they leave pheromones or smells that'll soak into the wood or concrete or whatever they're attached to that will attract new swarms into the future. And so one thing that I found over the years to mask that pheromone, especially in a, a thing like this where it's not going to be unsightly, it's inside, we don't have to worry about it being ugly, um, is automotive undercoating. And so we can coat that entire area. It's the black shit in the can. We can coat that entire area. There's TJ. Hey, TJ. So the TJ he works, uh, works my store over there. I've known TJ for 30 years. He's quite the musician too, actually. Uh, so we spray that with automotive undercoating to coat where they have been. Another thing that's going to be really good about us being up down here right now is all the remnant bees that are out in the field because with a normal hive, you've got two to 5,000 bees out working in the field. And even on a cool morning like this. And so anything about freezing, actually, with these Africanized bees. Uh, uh, European bees, oh, 50 degrees, 45 degrees, and they're in. Not these guys. Anything above freezing. So... Um, there, these remnant bees, because the bees left over from any removal are, are called remnant bees, and that includes the bees that were out in the field working and uh, all the bees that came out to try to kill us. And, and so they're gonna, they're kind of like an amputated limb, everyone. You can live without your finger, but your finger can't live without you. And so, okay, he's got some automotive undercoating there. Are we gonna have to pick some more up, Posh? Yeah. All right, we gotta pick some more undercoating up. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, Hosh is coming back in, and now we can go back up. Okay, another trip up, Hot, hot Rod. Here, let me give you these. All right, thank you. Right there, that'll there. work. Uh, yeah, that, that should work. Yeah. We also we'll use uh, whatever they have at the store, uh, cooler coat, you know, for uh, swamp coolers, something you guys don't have back east and up north. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go back up. And like I was just telling everybody, this is really great because it keep, they'll let the remnant bees come back and we can knock a bunch of them down. Now, of course, the remnant bees, which are left over from any removal, uh, are like an amputated limb, like I was telling everybody, and they will die off over the coming days, especially this time of year, because, um, good. All right, now I'm going to not make a mess of this. I want to make this as clear because I don't want to wreck the, they can, they can redo this all they want. There we go. Okay, it's gonna get nasty here in a minute. Because they really don't like this stuff. They absolutely hate it. It really coats the air, the wood or wherever they were, like I said, if it's not gonna be unsightly. And it coats the area where they were the best uh, over the years. I've developed this because we guarantee it for two years. They won't come back to the spot. Now, like I tell everybody, we will come back. We don't want to. <laughs> I can't see what the fuck I'm doing in here either. 
There we go. Uh, I'm sure there's a million questions. You guys keep asking questions and comments. We'll get to them. And of course, you guys that have been with us a thousand times, feel free to answer answer questions because you guys know what the hell's going on. Yeah, yeah. So, Killer Bee Nation, those of you who have been with us before, you know, help help the newbies out. Tell them what we're doing and, and answer their questions. Thank I know people so got a lot of questions. They see a couple guys up here killing honeybees, and it's like, wait, what? I so, meant risking their lives with masks and capes and yeah, tights. Yeah, yeah. The tights but, bind. That's why we're on. So, you know, but, but we're actually helping people. So, you know, tell them what's going on. Thank you so much, you guys. We have a bunch of people out there in Killer Bee Nation land that really know have learned a lot and know what the hell they're talking about. So I'm going to go ahead since I can and soak this here. And this will have to be... Now they'll be able to put up the Christmas decorations and... Because uh, we're at we're at Halloween here, guys. When is Halloween? Do you know, Hosh? Is it uh, like... The 31st? I know that. Right, sorry. Oh sorry. my God. <laughs> well, I'm, today's I'm new the, here. Today's the 26th. Uh, so five more? Yeah. Yeah, I think. So that <laughs> oh, you're, you're making me you're making me do math and I'm, I'm dealing with killer bees here. Uh, all right. Anyway, so all right. Uh, take, Monday. They're right, saying Monday is Halloween. I need to go up a little bit. I'm gonna look on top. Mon Monday is Halloween. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know the horror. Good. Watch Good. it. Oh yeah. All right. So you see this? Yeah, we'll yeah. Show everybody where the we never know where the remnant bees are going <laughs> to land. Well, now we do. Now we yeah. know. Look at them all right there, everybody. Oh, are they on the other side? Yep. They're dyslexic. Uh, yeah, they went to the other side. They went. <laughs> well, they're going to go to the other side right now. Send them over. That's, Happy Halloween. I'm going to send them to the other side. <laughs> so this, we just put a light dusting of. We want to make it safe so we can we'll reopen the street and also. We smell like the enemy, all right? We have, our suits are full of pheromone and attack pheromone and whatnot, so we smell like the enemy. Now, after we leave, within an hour, they're, all of the remnant bees are gonna be up here and they won't be down on the street anymore. This just happened to be that type of removal. Now, there are removals and I always uh, fear them when we're in uh, populated areas like this that they will stay mad for two weeks. And I'm talking bouncing off the windshield mad. So, yes. Oh, boy. They're ferocious. Yeah, I gotta knock a bunch down here. Yep. So now, this, not, this not isn't to... this isn't exactly portal to hell, but you uh, no, know. no. <laughs> it's well, more you know more what? like portal without, portal with, to purgatory. Without a yeah, purgatory. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Portal to catechism. <laughs> portal to catechism. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say I got bee guts all over my phone. So yeah, they no, are they've stinging. been stinging the hell out of that they phone. Are There's stinging. stingers all over that phone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So this will, uh, they're going to ball up up here, and the remnant bees will die out, especially with it being cold at night. Mm -hmm. Because they can't live without the, the hive. The rest of these bees can't go start a new hive somewhere. They just simply can't. It'd be like your finger going off and starting a new, new human. No, it ain't going to happen. Yeah. So this is really working well, actually. I mean, this is perfect as a matter of fact. All right, I'm gonna have Hot Rod take us down. Okay, we're, we're ready to come down, Hot Rod. We got her done. So we just give them a light dusting so they fall on the ground and then the ants get them. Wow. Oh my God, this scares the hell out of me being. Huh? No, we're done. We're done. You made quick work of that. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you got to. You got to. Yeah, you, got you can't. You can't. No uh, kicking the hive out no here. Kicking the hive on Allen Street. It. It's too damn dangerous. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just it's deadly. Actually, all these people walking around even under the tape. What did I sell, say when we first started? It happens every damn time, right? Look you have the tape up. You have the marshal. Look, you lose. Right. Oh, people staring. Oh yeah. Well, we are exciting and handsome. <clears throat> what was that again? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. You're up. Thank you, Hot Rod. Very masterfully done. Door to door service. Hive to hive service. All right. Here. Okay. All right. Hand me that. Okay. And of course, there's the honey store over there. Now you can go to killerbeeguy.com and get some honey, and I wish you would, of course. This ball will roll one. 
What are you snickering about? Yeah, I wish you would. That just never gets old. <laughs> no, but I do. In fact, I get older. <laughs> all right, we got it all. Mm -hmm. Hey, we something hot right. Cool. Here, I'll take that hot rod. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, Raymond. Hey, Raymond. Hope you all we can try the bees. Right. You need this anymore? Okay. Well, see, the average hive has 40 to 50,000 bees. And we probably killed about half the hive. Something like that. I'm going to climb down, Hot Rod. So that gives you an idea. But see, they're all remnant bees, so it just doesn't matter at this point, you know? And they're not going to go and find a new uh, home. That's just not what they do. They're going to ball up here and die, as Reed was explaining earlier, if you were on. They'll just ball up here and die and dehydrate, and that'll be that. There's some uh, nice pollen here, actually. No, the beautiful pollen. I mean, I mean there are some late blooming flowers, and of course, now we're in town, and there are people. That's a snack, right oh, there. That's a snack, yes. Yes. I'm a stingy fucker. I don't buy breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, stingy fuckers. That's yeah. a that's a band, <laughs> I think. That, well, was my, that? that was my porn star name. That stingy fucker. That was my porn that star, was your porn star, porn star name? name, man. Uh, that was wrong. No, she won't. The queen's not going to rehive. See, the queen goes down with the hive. The she's like the heart. She's the heart. She's the, the heart queen, of the matter. The queen she, goes down with the hive. It's just like hive. your heart can't live without your rest of your body. Same thing. Yeah. Or vice versa. You know, you kill the queen, you kill the hive, you kill the hive, you kill the queen. It's they're they're all interrelated. There's <laughs> there's no such the there are no independent honeybees. In other words, that's a common myth, and you get that from cartoons and and you know just weird sentimental stuff. Uh, there's no such thing as an individual honeybee. No, they, they, there's no not in such their mind. Thing. It's like, are there individual cells on your body? Not in your body's mind. Right. Is your finger a separate entity from the rest of your body? Not in your body's mind. Same thing with these. Right. God, am right. I good with the analogy? Yes, huh? appreciate it. <laughs> well, the queen's dead. She's not going to start a new hive. He, he, somewhere along the line, she's collateral damage. The only reason that anybody is ever concerned about the queen is because they're watching relocation videos. Exactly. We, when you're when you're killing a hive, the queen doesn't matter. That's exactly right. If you're right. relocating we're, the hive, yeah, we're then, not saving then the these queen, things. yeah, we're not saving these. The things. queen only matters if you're relocating a hive. Then you have to get the queen. You have to transplant the queen in that case. Talk but about liability. When you're killing the hive, it doesn't matter. Pick that up. All right. You think about it, that'd be a little bit pissed off. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Ah. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. I hate to see you bending over working on Huh? I said, I hate to see you bending over working on I know. I, it's me, too. <laughs> it is a four-letter word, after all. That's right. I, mean, I meant bend. <laughs> I wonder. <wondered. laughs> I wondered. <laughs> that, too. Well, shit. Oh, you got, now, see that up there? Look at that. And now, like I was telling everybody, we're the enemy because we smell. We have the pheromone. Oh, yeah, yeah, total all, enemy. They've been all up. As soon as you open it up, they come down. The side. They were on you. This guy's in this truck. He's got to be the enemy. Yeah, this guy's. A... When I was putting the outriggers up there, going in out of a hole right there in the back of the truck, looking for a new place. No shit! All the little <laughs> bastards. My God, they sure do take advantage, don't we'll, they? We'll mm. take them to Bisbee. Yeah, there you go. Well, uh, it is Biz B after yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It ain't that for me. I didn't tell you guys that. So somebody says, no bees, no people. You want to tackle that one? Uh, I'd like to tackle whoever said that right around the waist and just take him down and... Moogee, boogee, boogee, boogee. Actually, that's bullshit. Um, for, sorry to pop the bubble. Did you know this? Uh, you probably did, Hot Rod. That honeybees are invasive to the Western Hemisphere. 
They do not belong here. So let's talk, the person that said that, I hope you're still watching, because let's say the name of the nice bees, European honeybees, right? European, European honeybees. European honeybees. No. Wait a minute. Say it again. Euro European, it's in the name. Say it backwards. They're not. <laughs> it's, it's a bee flying backward and, and retracting its stinger. Um, they, they're they European honeybees. They're not Midwestern honeybees. They're not Alabama honeybees. They were brought here by Europeans. People lived in the Western Hemisphere for eons without honeybees. Millions and millions of years. Well, I don't know if we've been around that long, but it just one feels million, like it. One it million feels like years. it after a good weekend. Yeah. <laughs> feels like millions and millions. So honeybees are invasive to the Western Hemisphere. No, humans do not need them to live. Yeah, and not only that, but our staple crops, corn, wheat. Yeah, all of the grains are not pollinated. They're all self-pollinated. They're all self-pollinated. And that's what you live on. Well, another you thing, You know, too, like 50% of your food's whole grain. Bats do a lot of pollination. Bats. I was just saying bats do a lot bats, of pollination. butterflies, and also, wasps. Just in this northern Sonora flies. desert area, we have over a thousand different species of native pollinators which are mostly solitary bees, and honeybees are not included in that because they're invasive. They're, you know, they're literally like the buffle grass of the insect world. Yep. They're like the buffle grass of the insect world. They're like the Asian carp of the insect world. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen them, have you? Oh, my God, they jump right in your damn boat, and they're like that long, and, you know. Anyway, no, they're like the Asian carp of, uh, of, of the insect world. They're like the buffalo grass of the insect, especially Africanization, but also European because they're invasive. They compete with native pollinators for food source um, and also housing. And so they're driving to or near extinction a lot of our, our pollinators, our native pollinators. Sad but true. So anyway, it is, a, an illu it is a delusion actually and a lie that people believe that we need honeybees to live. Yeah. It yeah, it's a nice little propaganda. Yeah, but, and it's put out by big agriculture. Campaign actually. put out by big agri, yeah. no bees, no yeah. people. But it's sure nice to have their honey. Oh, I love their honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're not getting rid of them, for God's sake, everybody. It would be like getting rid of mosquitoes, you know. Boy, would I get rich. Holy the fuck. Could, the kudzu. The yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, God. Oh, is that TJ? He's walking with them. Why well, should, should know better. we got lots of bees down here. Yeah. So we're going to leave that tape up for a while. Okay, well, you've been warned. TJ, it's not over. Take them back. It's not over. Leave them up. We're going to leave this block for the day. <laughs> Make it quick, please. Thank you. How are we, we going to get out? Are you going to the Hurry! Hurry, it's killer bees. Now you know all you need is somebody that's allergic. If you guys will turn around and come this way after you get in, we'll, we'll raise those flags up for you. Yeah, we'll raise it up for you. All right, so there it is. So yeah, don't worry about the bees. You don't even don't worry about the honeybees. It's a it's a crock. Um, you know, honeybees are really bad pollinators anyway. I mean, they do the job, but they're no they're not near as effective as our native pollinators. So, no, people are not smart. That's why people believe we need honeybees to survive, right? When honeybees weren't here before. Uh, they weren't here before the Civil War, not in Arizona anyway. So, uh, you know, there's just all kinds of nonsense in the world. Uh, we can go over to the, we have a broom at the store. Yeah, we'll oh, okay. You want me to go grab yeah, it? Yeah, would you please yeah, take, yeah. You can take everybody over with you. And... All right, come on, let's go get the Thank broom, you. gang. So, yeah, we've got this whole thing taped up, but we didn't tape up the sidewalks. And so now people are, people are wanting to walk down the sidewalks. <laughs> Anyway, so for those of you who don't know, this is the store where we sell the honey we harvest. Not honeybees, no, they're not native to the Western Hemisphere. We don't. You, need, you know, what it is is people use honeybees for a lot of fruit crops, right? And like nuts, almonds, that's the only one that comes to mind actually, but almonds, um, 
out. Where's the damn broom? Uh, you know, almonds, blueberries, etc. Not wild blueberries, but, you know, the big blueberry uh, farms out in California. So, yeah, there's a lot of that kind of stuff, but none of the staples. All right, thank you. I'm going to ride this over, Posh. It is Halloween. Yes, it is. Go on, then. Now, did you lube it up real Every good? Day is <laughs> Every, day is Every day is Halloween. Every day is Halloween. He is the Grim Reaper. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. No, honeybees were brought here by the colonists. But that's not really the point, because, you know, whatever with the honeybees. These are killer bees. It's a honeybee subspecies that is... Uh, they're deadly. They're hyper-aggressive. They were created in a Brazilian laboratory when they crossbred African bees and European bees. They escaped, and uh, they hit the U.S. In 1991, they hit Texas. In 93, they hit Arizona. And uh, by 1998, 100% of the feral honeybee population in Arizona was Africanized, a.k.a. killer bees. So that's the story. Um, Reed was there for the turning. Reed was there. It wasn't know, my fault, though. It wasn't his fault, but yeah. <laughs> so, right. yeah, so we don't do politics on here, uh, in the eightarchy or whatever. So, well, you know, that's there's the warning. Texas is definitely part of the U.S. And uh, anyway, I don't know what the implication there is, but any political junk at all, fuck that shit. I'll block you. Um, so anyway, here we are, and we just took out this hive, and this is what we do. Um, let's see, any other questions here? Let me get in the shade, and I'll, I'll see what I can do here. Texas is definitely part of the USA, and you out! I'm, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm just not doing it. No, Texas is a state. Good God, stop with it. I fuck that shit. We're talking about killer bees. Yeah, they're they're everywhere. But these didn't mutate. Den. They uh they were crossbred in a laboratory. So all the feral honeybees in Brazil, all the feral honeybees in South America, all the feral honeybees in Central America, and now all the honeybees in um, <clears throat> all the honeybees in, uh, you know, Arizona and really the American, you know, the desert southwest, they're all Africanized. They're in Ohio. They're in all the states. Yeah, yeah, we're just, we're not doing it. That's not, this is a no politics, no religion, no, no racism, none of that shit. The bees don't care and neither do we. And I gotta, I'm sorry, I really I feel negative. I gotta say that every damn time, but you always got these ass clowns popping up on here and talking that shit, and it's just crazy. I can't even believe anybody would bother to type that shit in. But anyway, so here we are. We tell the difference, you can tell the difference by uh, genetic testing is the main way. Um, and that's what laboratory testing revealed in 1998 that 100% of the honeybees in Arizona were Africanized. So, um, yeah, he's trying to keep that sidewalk blocked off. We, we work in AZ, that's right. Yeah. Get to where you're going. Just get to where you're going quick. Oh my God. Get to where you're going. You're going to get stung. Go where you're going. Go quick. Get off the street. Go, 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 go. Hurry. Go. Hurry. Hurry. What do you think this tape is for? What do you think to go? Go, 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 hurry, go. You're gonna get stung or your kid's gonna get stung, go. Just sit there and fucking argue with me. 
what in the hell? And this is why humans are actually endangered. Jesus, Reed. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fucking lady with a baby. Jesus Fucking idiots. What part, what part of these are killer bees get the fuck out of here, don't you understand? Yeah, all of it, apparently. The poor I can kid. Think lucky guy. Well, the kid she was holding, she was holding a baby. I live here. Well, Go on then, get in. <laughs> Pull this a little bit so Hot Rock can get up, and then uh, we can let him out down there. Yep. Right. We're not. Uh, we're not leaving yet. All right. So we'll hang out here for a little bit longer. Yeah, natural selection is right. Right. Yeah, she, she's swatting at bees while she's telling me I should warn somebody. <laughs> Meanwhile, she crossed the tape. Anyway, I don't know. Yep. Exactly, yeah. There's no real difference between the honey. The difference in the honey is, is really all about what plants they've pollinated. So mesquite honey, right, goes one way, or wildflower honey. We did honey, uh, we, we removed comb from a house near a pecan orchard, and uh, the honey tasted like pecan. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't know where the marshal is. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, okay. So we'll, uh, we'll hang out here over by the store. Anyway, gang, here we are. The, mar the marshal, right? Yeah, maybe maybe you did hear her start to yell when they or hear them start to swarm when she started yelling. Yeah. Well, they, it's a good question. They're called Africanized because they introduced African honeybee DNA to European honeybee DNA. Does that make sense? So the European bees were Africanized which for whatever reason made them hyper aggressive. Um, and that's the, that's the story. Plus, in addition to that, when you analyze the DNA of these, of these Africanized honeybees, like 96 to 90% of their DNA is the African DNA. It's just a weird thing. And so it's kind of like brown eyes, like, you know, dominant and recessive traits. Brown eyes usually wins out. That's, that's what happened. So the African DNA dominated the European DNA in these, in these honeybees. And um, the result is that these bees are Africanized. No, well, we've, they've been warned. We're not responsible because I, I'll tell you what, who's responsible is actually that restaurant. If you've got a feral, unmanaged hive on your property, at least in the state of Arizona, there's a law in the books that says if you've got a feral, unmanaged hive on your property, then you've got to... Um, we're in Tombstone. That you've got to have them removed, and if they sting somebody, you're liable. Uh, but because she's getting them removed, you know, then that's a question. Who's, who's liable in that case? Um, but we are not, no. And, and the truth is, is that, you know, we've got the marshal out here, we've blocked off the road here on both sides, so if she's coming through, it's on her. And she's actually still outside. She's sitting outside with that kid. I think she's far enough away. I mean, she is on the other side of the tape. I think she's far enough away. But I mean, common sense, you know? Unreal. Anyway, we'll just hang out here for a second. Leave the wood cover off. Um, it wouldn't have mattered. There's nothing else in there. We sprayed it with the automotive undercoating. So the only reason that there's bees flying around up there anyway is because um, it, uh, they're the remnant bees. So. We left the wood off because, see, the wood still emits pheromones. So it's just one less piece to draw more bees, actually. 
let's see. It's a stronger, more adaptable bee, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking here. What are the odds? It's hard to see my screen. I'm sorry. I've got to go in the shade here a little bit. What are the odds that another active hive... What are the odds that another larger hive nearby brings the... Yeah, I mean, they could swarm. Another hive could come in. Yeah, that can happen. What they, they don't... The spray that we spray on them is glue. So their wings stick together, they drop to the ground, and then they die. It is possible, though, that the bees would smell the, the pheromones and, and come in, which is why we spray the undercoating. Hold on a minute. Hey, we just removed an Africanized beehive oh, sure. from the parapet up there. Yeah, if you've got another way out, that's yeah, best. Good. Go that way? Yeah, yeah, but you don't want to go on the on Allen Street. Oh, okay, the main. Yeah, if you can okay. skip Allen Street here, I'm you're gonna, good. I'm going to those trash cans back there. Oh, I wouldn't if you can wait. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'd I'd give it a little a little while. There's just bees all over the place. Oh, yeah, no, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So see that smart kid. If you're living in Arizona, you don't mess with bees. And they're actually all over me right now. Yeah. Sir, you know we just removed a beehive from there. There's bees all over the place. That's why the tape's up, the danger tape. Yeah. Yeah, so any other any other questions I'm happy to to try to answer. If you got anything. They're not Wait, hold on a minute. What do we say? Are they bad in all cases? Like Africanized just equals... It usually... Africanized usually equals aggressive and it always equals aggressive at some point. So, if does that make sense? In other words, the, the killer bees are, are always aggressive at some point. When we remove a hive, there's levels of aggression. It depends. Yeah, there's still... And this gentleman here. Yeah. They're a little bugs in There's still a lot of bees around here. Are we, are we getting out of here, Reed? Uh, well, I just, we're, we smell like the enemy. Yeah. The further away from people we are, the better. Yeah, yeah. Got it. That's what it boils down to. So. Yeah. Um, actually, you want to get in the truck? Yeah. And we'll think about going away. i got to go in and talk to Gloria, of course. Yeah. Look at that. Just sitting out there. But, you know, the thing is, Here's what's going to happen is... Uh, people. Yeah, right. But they're not going to mob somebody. But if somebody's allergic... Well, then they're dead. And people don't always know if they're allergic. No, and I always say, let's not find out. Go hug Karen before you leave. <laughs> uh, uh, well, that narrows it down. I only have so many hugs. I'm out. I ran out. Anyway. Well, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. Number. I might have to go in in the bee suit. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway. Well, I did earlier. Got some funny looks. Yeah, funny looks? You mm -hmm. get that without the bee suit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Anyway. How is everybody out there? We're in We're in Tombstone, yeah. We're in Tombstone, Arizona. Everybody have Oh, it, it wouldn't matter what kind of signs we say, killer bee. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't people, matter. people would still come. And, you know, I did have the marshal out. I mean, look at, look at hanging out by the danger tape. Oh, God. Oh, of course, I mean, we do this job, so who are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I got. We're talking about the pot calling the kettle black. I guess I'm the biggest idiot here. Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but <laughs> explain yourself. That's a. You can't leave shit open like that with me. You just can't. I am going to take advantage of it. I hope you will. <laughs> do they? Do killer bees live in cold weather? Oh boy, do they! They were bred to be better. They were bred to to be more extreme. 
And so, yeah, they can live in hotter weather, colder weather, oh, everything. They can live on Mars as far as I know. I don't know. Yeah, they can. They can definitely live in cold weather. You know, it's, it's so weird because people think, oh, Africanized. Well, they can't live where it's cold. What a presumption. Yeah, right. They're a bunch of bullshit, you know. Right, right. Yeah, they definitely can. They definitely can. Right. And uh, I mean, they're in they're in uh, Montana. Yeah, right. Billings. For Christ's sake. Billings, yeah. Montana. Yeah. Uh, varroa mites. How do they do against varroa mites? You know, when I even back in the '90s, I used to watch my bees, my Africanized bees. I put on a full. I learned to wear a full full armor real quickly because they were that bad. And uh, I would um, watch my Africanized bees pull mites off of each other. Yeah, that, they're known. To, nothing, that was why they were bred. They're tough as nails. They're they're not only meaner and shit. Of course, they didn't know they were going to mean be mean. Otherwise, they wouldn't have bred them. They um, they're tough. They're disease resistant, parasite resistant, everything resistant. Make twice as much honey. Swarm more often. Pollinate better. They were looking for a super bee, and they got one. And so the disease, they don't care about. Even colony collapse, they don't give a shit. They didn't. That's why they're in all the lower 48 states now. That was why they were bred to begin with. So, good question. Good question, you guys. Yeah, and do they just go dormant in the winter? Oh, well, good question. They don't migrate and they don't hibernate. They actually are like us. They hunker down, uh, light the wood fire, and watch movies. I know you guys have heard me say it a thousand times. Anyway, it's funny still. I don't care. Um, mm -mm. They don't migrate and they don't hibernate. They, uh, they do hunker down, though, and they wait for it to warm up. Now, that used to be... 40, 45, well, 45 or 50 degrees for European bees, Africanized, anything above freezing. Yeah, literally above freezing. There was, we had a stinging attack at 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, it, they're they're a better bee. So no, they don't go dormant. That's the problem in the winter. You can still piss them off just as much as in the summer. It, they usually are hotter in the summer, meaner, but um, yeah, you just, you want to risk it? <laughs> Me neither. Not without my bee suit. Like I tell everybody, in my bee suit, I'm Superman. Without it, I'm a little girl. I ain't going near them damn things. So anyway. Um, all right. Well, uh, I am going to walk in and talk to Gloria. And I'm going to... They're still on the truck, though, is the problem. Um, I think I'm going to go and park... Damn it. See, I don't want to... I want to get away and then come back without the suit on. To, right. to see how fast you can run. <laughs> 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 Thanks a lot, Hosh said. Thanks a fucking lot. I don't want to. I don't want to leave until there just simply aren't any more angry ones around. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna pull up a little bit more because I saw some angry ones on the truck, and of course the truck smells like venom, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're just gonna leave this parked in the middle of the street because yes, we have a fire. I have a fire truck, and we can do that kind of shit. So um, we're just gonna leave it parked here, and I'm gonna go out and. You're and, gonna go in and. Yeah. Connect um, with her. Yeah, commiserate and we'll right. see what's going on. So, do you want to? If you want to hop out, we can commiserate. And also, I want you to, if you can hop out and kind of stay up here and see if there's any up here. Okay. God, I hope not. I already see one. I mean, I'm going to attract them too, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right. God damn, I can't win on these damn things, can we? So this is the OK Corral right here. Where? Right? Isn't this T? Oh no, no. Well, no, that's Allen Street. Oh, okay, yeah. That's Allen Street. There's the Crystal Palace over there, yeah. and the OK Corral is actually a, a building that down way. here. Yeah, 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 down there. Yeah, on the next corner. Um, damn these things. And of course, we got the honey. All right, I'm gonna run in quick. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Back in a second. Guys. Yep. So I'll just wait here for you. Yeah. Okay, so the question came up, is there any benefit? Hold on, I'm gonna flip my flip my screen around here. Is there any benefit? Um, well, I mean, they make a lot of honey. They make twice as much honey, and that's about it. But the, the payoff really isn't, or the, the trade-off really isn't worth it. You know, they're hyper-aggressive, and, and they kill people, and they kill livestock, and they kill pets, and they compete with the native pollinators. You know, that's really a huge concern. The fact that they compete with the native pollinators is a big problem. We need our native pollinators to pollinate our native plants, and they're an invasive species. And it, there's always trouble with that when you get to, you know, invasive species. That's always a bit of a problem. So. Oh, thank you. Wow. Appreciate that. Uh, TRM. Yeah. So, uh, 
Let's see what we may have another call. We don't know. We use uh, Elmer's glue spray adhesive actually. And the suits, what are they made of? I don't know. It's some mesh, some triple layered. Yeah, it is. Well, honey too. So yeah, we use a power washer to clean our suits. And we reuse them. Yep. Bigger hives, better bees, Papa John's. All right. That sounds like a good logo. Natural pollinators. Well, first of all, there's like 400 bees that are not honeybees that are native pollinators, like carpenter bees, mason bees, uh, mud bees. There's all kinds of bees that are not honeybees, for one thing. Those all pollinate. Flies pollinate. Butterflies pollinate. Um, bats. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on. Wasps and hornets pollinate. You know, basically, most of your flying insects, I mean, all really all of your flying insects do that. We are their natural enemies. They don't really. Uh, I've seen them kill dogs. I've seen them sting owls to death. They don't, they don't really have any natural predators. They're, they're really kind of top of the food chain, right up there with sharks. Um, let's see. This is going to be the, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do more hives today. We're getting calls. This is the thing. It's freezing at night and we're getting calls. So you tell me, you know, can they survive in the cold? We're, we're getting, you know, it's getting down below freezing. There was ice uh, on my property this morning and yesterday, and we're still getting bee calls. Because, see, they make heat inside the hives. They make heat. They make, they make honey during the spring and the summer and autumn, and then they during the winter they make heat out of the honey. So they keep themselves at like 68 degrees inside the hive by vibrating. Spray adhesive will work on wasps, but you didn't hear that here. Hold on, what are we saying here? A lot of stuff coming from Africa. Yeah, but they didn't come from Africa, right? This is a different thing. So they would definitely, I think these bees would take out a honey badger. I do, just because they send out more attack bees than, than the African bees or the European bees or the Asian bees. They send, that's one of the big differences is that, so like the Asian bees will send out, you know, an Asian bee or an European bee or an African bee, they have, they'll send out just a handful of bees to attack and scare people off. These bees will send out half the hive and that's why they're deadly. The venom is the same as honeybee, you know, as any honeybee venom, but they, uh, but they sting in mass, right? So they overwhelm and so 500 stings is a rattlesnake bite. 500 stings is a rattlesnake bite. And so if you get stung 2,000 times, that's like getting bit by four rattlesnakes, right? Yeah, it's not one sting, it's thousands. And if you're allergic, which more and more people are, then you've got a real problem. They're killer bees. Apis mellifera scatella, Africanized honeybees. Yeah, look them up, research it, and don't take my word for anything. Um, and don't don't believe anything anybody tells you about anything. You know, research. Uh, you gotta you gotta work for knowledge. Yeah, they do. They multiply very fast. In fact, they swarm thirty times a year. So European honeybees swarm five times a year. They swarm 30 times a year. So a swarm is when the, the queen leaves and takes a bunch of bees with her, okay, and starts a new hive someplace else. Africanized hive can do this up to 30 times a year. I think they could take down a grizzly bear. I do, just because they attack so much. But I think a grizzly bear is going to get stung and stung and stung, and then they're going to take off running. So, yeah. The
The honey tastes about the same. Wasps don't produce honey. And a, a new hive gets the queen that absconded from the old hive. So the queen leaves with five, you know, thousand bees or so, starts a new hive. So when you see a ball of bees, like up in a tree, you know, where you can just this big ball of bees hanging there on the side of the house, that's all. Reed's in there talking to the uh, owner of the Longhorn, the person that had us do this job. Yeah, this is our full-time job. Yeah. So the queen takes a bunch of bees, finds a new place. Meanwhile, a new queen, you know, takes over the old hive, and that's the way it goes. You can tell the difference by aggression, but really the only way to tell, the only 100% way to tell is to do genetic testing in a laboratory. The blink, well, he's got to keep those lights on, though. Yeah. What was that? Let's see here. Yeah, well, thanks for being on here and for learning. You know, it's a trip. People see us taking out honeybees, and they're like, what are you doing? Because there's obviously so much indoctrination on the other end about how much we need these things, etc. So put on some music. God, we never use the radio in here. I don't want to mess with it. I'm just going to leave it be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So let's see, any other questions real quick? Well, you know what? When COVID hit, I myself, I was like, I, I was working for a not-for-profit and, uh, and that whole sector really dried up quite a bit with COVID and I determined in my mind I never want to be a non-essential worker again. So I've made it my point since then to to only uh, work in areas that are, you know, with, with essential. So yeah, 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 it's essential. It's essential in Cochise County, I'll tell you. And the thing is, we believe it's gonna be essential everywhere, eventually. They're in all the lower 48 states. They're in all the lower, lower 48 states. It's simply a question of what's the saturation rate. So in Arizona, the saturation rate is 100% in feral, unmanaged hives. But in other states, they're there. They're just not. They're just not 100% saturation. But remember, they swarm 30 times a year. So how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take? Is the really the question? You know, and and people are getting killed. I mean, there was that kid up in Ripley, Ohio. His name was Austin. He was tree trimming or something. He got stung up. He had like 5,000 stings. Luckily, he survived. Um, and then there was a poor guy, this guy in Austin, Texas, uh, was was actually cutting trees for a power, power they were gonna run power lines in, and he was up in a harness and he, he lit into a hive and he, they killed him. He was swinging in the harness. I mean, it happens all over the place. Um, you just don't always hear about it. I, I don't know about the Krugers or the Schumachers. Oh, you're talking to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, bees, exactly. Bees do come in your territory. That's right. They've been in Canada. Yeah. Um, they do come in your territory. That's the thing. So when you see, basically what it comes down to is if you see bees coming and going out of a soffit of a house um, or tires, you know, old tires laying around, um, or, you know, from behind siding, anything like that, you see bees coming and going and you really want to be, you want to watch out. You want to call somebody, just call somebody. You don't want to mess around with it at all. No matter where you are, don't mess around with it. Call a professional. And sometimes all the best you're going to get is a beekeeper who's going to come in and, uh, you know, move them or whatever. But I recommend an exterminator. I do. It's not worth it, and honeybees are not that special, is what it comes down to. I have not seen any stingerless bees in, in my adventures, no. Only honeybees produce honey. Well, you there are exterminators in Texas. Reed has 
Reed has a few exterminators in Texas, yeah, that he knows of. Yeah, you can, you can find somebody to take care of it there. You can't visually tell the difference between European and Africanized bees. They look the same. I mean, there's subtle differences, like, but you'd have to, you'd have to pull it out and get a microscope and look, you know, like, killer bees are like supposedly 10% smaller. I've heard all kinds of things, but it, they look the same. The fly looking bees, I don't know what they're called, but that is definitely a native pollinator and they're a okay. Wasps' nests do die with a freeze, yes. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So what we're going to do, yeah, the honey, how do we separate it from the bees? The first thing we'll do is we'll freeze the comb. We're not going to turn, I'm not turning off the blinker. We're, we're in an emergency vehicle and we're keeping the, the street safe. So it, the, the hazards are actually on. Um, so what we'll do to process the comb is we will freeze it. And then that'll kill off all the honeybees. And then we'll put all of it into uh, a, uh, we'll strain it, basically. We warm it and we strain it and the honey separates from the, from the, from the other stuff, from the bees and the junk. Yeah. Honey's great. Honey is great. Um, and uh, I'll keep eating it. It's okay. People don't know, and anybody can type anything on the internet. Oh, I haven't worked on it yet. Here he comes. Reed's coming. Yeah, he was just inside talking to the to the owner. No, we're not allergic. No, nobody can work with us who's allergic. Yeah. Okay, you might want to point that down so I don't think it's a vehicle. Oh, well, it's pointed at me, actually. Oh, it is? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> well, then definitely point it down. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, I think we're just going to take off. I'll call TJ in a minute. Uh, we're done? Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, it's time to go. And get out of here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, you want to say goodbye here? Yeah, Hold on, let me, I don't know, let me but I've got to. Flip this oh. thing around. Uh -huh. All right. There you go. You guys, hi, it's me. It's time to go. I know we have to leave. I'm sorry. I don't want to either. I love you. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for coming along, everybody. We really appreciate it. It was kind of a long live stream. <laughs> but adventuresome, and we saved the day. Here they come, save the day. And you got to see all aspects of it from beginning to end. We really appreciate you coming along. Go to killerbeeguy.com, get some honey, of course. Thank you, because obviously I need a new suit. Wait, 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 listen to this comment what do we real got? quick before we go. I was against killing honeybees until you all taught me the difference. Oh, well. <laughs> go the, kill them. The truth. The <laughs> truth go get them. The truth shall <laughs> kill set, the honeybees. The truth shall set you be. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. I didn't even get stung. Anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming along. We're going to head out of Tombstone. Who the hell knows what's going to happen in an hour. So keep your eyes peeled. Uh, we made it safe. We love you. Say goodbye to Hosh. We'll All see right. you guys later. Yeah. See you guys. Thanks for being a part of this. And uh, hope we were able to help you learn a little bit here. All right. Later on.